and we're live. So today we're gonna take a couple different post drivers. We got the Titan here. This is gonna be the Titan PGD 2875 right there. Just bought this. We're gonna take that post pounder and we're gonna take the Rhino, wherever the heck it is, that one. Oh, GPD 45, well used. And we're gonna test them right behind us, right over there. It's gonna be pretty good soil. Um, there's not a lot of rock over there. In fact, there's probably not much of any rock. It's basically just hard clay, uh, maybe some sandy loam or something like that. So they should drive pretty easy. But anyhow, you guys beat me up pretty good last time because I didn't have, uh, people don't think these are fencing shoes. They don't like my flip flops. So we'll make sure that we wear boots today. Now I would like to say, I would like to say something about these socks. So I've turned a lot of people on to these. These are darn tough socks. And when they say darn tough, they mean darn tough. I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I just want to share when I like something, I like to share it with other people so they understand. So I used to constantly get sweaty boots and stuff like that and your feet would stink. And somebody said, well, just buy better socks. And so I got onto these darn tough, which are, uh, I think they're just a merino wool. But I've had these same socks for like a year and a half. They just don't wear out. So not only are they tough, but I don't have problems with my feet stinking. So anyhow, we'll be super safe today and we'll wear our boots since everybody's so worried about my safety. Now, we're ready to go fencing. We'll take a couple posts right over here. We'll test out both drivers. We'll see how long it takes to drive them and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts on these. So here's what we've got. We've got the GPD 45, it's hard to see there. GPD 45 from Rhino. And that's gonna go up against uh, Titan's PGD2875 and this sticker won't start to fall off. So. so we ended up getting this driver. We had this driver, it was out on a job site and we needed a driver and I didn't have one. The guys had all three of the other drivers out gone. So the local farm supply store, Murdoch's here had this one for sale in there and I'm thinking, geez, well, that's not too bad. I think it was 700 bucks or something. So we'll just pick up another one and have an extra. And the guys took it out there and they reported to me they just didn't think it hit as hard. So we're gonna see what we think of that. The biggest post this one fits is gonna be a two and three eighths. This one has actually got a collar. We can choke this down and I think this one will fit a three inch pipe. So a little bit different. I can fit a lot bigger pipe on this one than I can on this one. I do like the fact that these have a case. The Titan drivers have a case. The guys are constantly throwing around the pickups and you can see this well-used driver they break off all these guards and stuff like that. This one's taped on already. Uh, they just, they're not very careful about them. I, I would give a leg up to Titan on that and say that it's really nice to have this case that helps protect it and keep it, a, keep it from getting all beat up like that. So this one's heavier, uh, the Rhino is, than the Titan. Uh, just having that little bit extra weight's gonna give it some advantage. Um, and then we do have whatever brand of motor this is versus the Honda. Um, I haven't found either one of them to start too much differently. Anyhow, we'll take, uh, we're gonna drive some inch and five eighths pipe to start with. So some of the other things this came with, uh, I don't remember what this came with. I don't know if it came with extra collars um, and we had to buy those, but you can get extra collars to choke this down. We've long since lost those. This one has a lot deeper throat than the Titan. So if you look up in there and it helps it kind of stay balanced on the post a little bit better when it's got that deeper throat. So these are the ones we've got. I think we have four different sizes. This size here, two inch, yeah, two inch. So that's inch and seven eighths. Then we got the inch and five eighths. This is like a one inch, maybe for driving ground rods or something like that. And then you have the open throat and this is what you'd use on the two and seven eighths pipe. So uh, you get a little bit of extra grease. I don't remember ever getting that with Rhino. Uh, a little tool kit in case you need to work on it. Uh, and every once in a while, you got to put some grease inside here on both of these just to grease up that action. So. They did send us with some extra grease. And again, I don't remember receiving any extra grease with the Rhino Pounder when we bought that one, so. Okay, let's go do this. I got my boots on, we're super safe. All right, so these are eight foot posts. We'll go ahead and just, I don't know, we'll see if we can get them halfway in the ground at 48 inches. We'll time it to 48 inches. And I'm not gonna worry about level because all, I'm, all I really care about right now is just speed. So if it's a little bit off plumb, um, we'll just let it be. We're just gonna see how fast it can get them down to grade. So as soon as it hits grade, we'll stop. Hold this for me, somebody. Vanna, assistant. step over, assistant. Okay. Oh, almost fired right up, first try.
we'll call that refusal because it's not going down right now we're just starting to spin so it's just loosening the post underneath this ground there is a whole bunch of river rock so you get through the soil that they're growing the crops on and underneath that it's nothing but river cobble and we could go that way about 100 yards and it would be nothing but cobble there wouldn't be any topsoil hardly at all so so let's try this driver next up the titan whatever the heck it is all right right next to it you ready hang on that doesn't count we're uh, i think we're still on choke maybe So we just opened the case and we found out we could get an extra spark plug. I wonder if that would make this thing work. Doubt it. <laughs> hey, I want to see though. That, that's the white uh, yeah, too that. bad. If they could, that might be the only good thing about this thing if it could fit my Rhino Pounder, but it just doesn't. So even the case is garbage now. The whole thing, it's just trash. Just absolute trash. I wouldn't put this evil on anybody. So just to prove that driven posts can be just as good, these guys are gonna see if they can pull it out. They're really working hard at it. They're probably gonna get that one out. That one's only two and a half feet in the ground. Okay, two and a half feet in the ground. Go ahead, get that one out. There you go, you got it, four feet in the ground. Had to work at it, but you got it. But forces usually aren't pulling up on fences. You see that they actually bent the post without the ground giving way. And that's what we see all the time is, is if we hit this with something, which is the only thing we're really worried about in the fence business, if we're hitting it with something, let's say the wind, is, it gonna, is the ground gonna give way and make the post lean over or is the post gonna bend first? And the answer is always the post is gonna bend because even though this is a small diameter pipe pressing against a very small area of the ground, the larger the diameter of the pipe, the more forces it can withhold because it's pressing against more ground. You have more uh, surface area on the ground to force against. So, and this is, this is pretty good ground. That's what you find. Um, the big thing that we've noticed is, hey, way to walk right in front of the camera. I mean, we're not doing anything over here. Nothing's happening. Just go on about your business. Anyhow, but what we find is uh, if you're gonna drive posts, uh, especially round pipe woods, not so much, you got a lot of friction and surface area and stuff like that. Um, but especially with these drivers, um, if you're gonna pound posts with these, they vibrate a lot and so they kind of liquefy the ground and you can actually see these posts turn. So if you're gonna drive posts and you have things like gate posts that are critical that it doesn't turn, then you need to probably weld something onto it so that it doesn't, uh, turn one of the things we can do is we'll take these if we're going to drive a gate post with one of these rhino pounders We'll take the end and smash the end with a sledge and just give it and then it can't twist So that prevents your gate posts and stuff from twisting just because of the forces on the hinges But that's really the only thing that we worry about um, It's definitely not going to sink into the ground any further over time and we don't have things like frost heave that we're dealing with So just a little bit about driving posts um, really would like to see more architects and engineers specify driving posts versus uh, concreting them. You know, there's just not a whole lot of added benefit to adding concrete, just a lot of expense and spoils and different things like that, so. See how hard, I mean, I'm almost tempted to leave them at home. Yeah, we're not filming or anything right here. Not right here. Okay. And in all seriousness, if you're gonna drive these posts, one thing I did forget was my air protection and I almost paused, but then we were already driving and I didn't want to screw up the time, but it didn't really matter because that well, Titan Pounder's never nice. getting it in the ground anyhow. Oh. Uh -huh. 
I can't start it. There we go. I feel a little bit of Look at the water coming out. All right, let's finish this thing off. This is the Buick Le Sabre. I think it's actually Le Sabre, but Le Sabre sounds so much cooler. We've already had some good fun with it, uh, but now, now it's time to use it to send this thing to where it needs to go. Because this thing, like I said, I just wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. As you saw over there, it can't pound a post very good. And that's the best ground we have around here. If it can't pound a post over there, it's worthless. We don't want any chances that anybody could actually accidentally have one of these in their fleet, ever. I want you to know I still have my steel-toed boots on. We're still good. Okay. Anybody have anything they would like to say? Last words? Sure. You tried, but that's all you did. I do want you to know those. Check. Super safe. Super safe. So I have to admit that I knew exactly how this was going to turn out. And the reason I knew how it was going to turn out is because I was going for a job this week over in Jackson. It's five, uh, five hour drive one way. We had two post pounders sitting in the shed and I knew we just bought that. I told the guys to go pick up that new post pounder. So I figured, well heck, I'll take this one and I'll take the Rhino just in case. But I really was kind of excited to try this new driver and see how it worked out. So luckily I grabbed two, not just the one that was in a nice transportable case. We got over there, tried to drive one post and I'm like, I thought maybe the ground was just super hard or something and it started going down just a little bit and then just basically, it just dudded out. I mean, wouldn't even, we maybe got it in about that deep. It just stopped. So I put the Rhino on it, it pounded great. And I tried it in a couple different spots and that thing just absolutely would not drive a post in that ground over there. Um, some of the posts we were struggling to get three feet on uh, just because it was so firm, the, the soil over there. So I was pretty disappointed that I just spent $700 on a post driver that didn't work. Then I thought, well, you know what? The least I can do is, is help other people avoid that same mistake and say that I cannot recommend the Titan driver at all. Wanted you guys to know, I mean, I don't like to waste $800, but there's just, that doesn't have any room in our fleet. I'm just not gonna keep that around. I don't wanna send another crew out there. And if I hadn't have brought two drivers to that job, I would have been, I would have been hosed. There's no way I would have been able to get that job done. I didn't have a hand pounder. Uh, so I didn't really have a backup means of getting the post in. Luckily I had the Rhino driver and the Rhino put it in great. So um, we just don't have any use for equipment that doesn't work on our, on our uh, job sites. And there's no sense in having it take up a bunch of room in the tool shed. And so we figured we'd have a little bit of fun with it. So anyhow, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you subscribe, check out our Facebook page, uh, SWI Fence, YouTube, Instagram, SWI Fence, follow us there. Um, more crazy stuff to come. Till then, you have a good dang day.